What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Tox Brewing Company and they are out of New London, Connecticut and this is their Summer Fugu. So they're calling this one an IPA that comes in at 6% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This can is exactly a one month old. I'm gonna give a huge thanks, shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Steven, for this beer. So big thanks to him. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies that Steven sent my way. He sent me a bunch of awesome beer, including one from Tox. And I'm really pumped up about this one because I've reviewed three beers from Tox on the channel, all of them courtesy of Steven, and one of them was their Fugu, which is like the base of this beer. And I went back and watched that review because I remember really enjoying it. However, what I said about it was it was extremely, extremely unique. It had this like fresh watermelon vibe. The hops in it were Citra, Cashmere, and Eldorado. I'd imagine that Eldorado was, uh, you know, putting in that uh, watermelon character. And uh, it was two and a half to like three months old, the can. And it was still very vibrant. It tasted like it was three weeks old. And I kind of... I didn't lose my shit over it. But let me just say that I was kind of surprised and blown away by it. So... I gave it a 4.35 delicious IPA. I think that's 6.5%. So what's the difference between uh, that beer and this beer? I really don't know. Uh, on Untapped and uh, Instagram, they just said that like, this is a little bit, uh, how did they word it? They said it was like a, a little bit lighter, but only in ABV. And they said they changed up the hops and they did specifically mention white wine and white grapes. So I'm assuming this one has Nelson in it, but they didn't state what this one is brewed with. So I don't know if that, this is, you know, Citra Cashman, Alorado, and then they, you know, double dry hop it with, uh, Nelson or something else. I have no idea. So we're going to find out together. So I'm really excited to give this one a, a go. So we get a little bit of tox here in the uh, Buffalo, New York area, but very rare. And I haven't seen their stuff all that much lately. Um, when it comes to a lot of the beers brewed at the 12% beer project location, North Haven, Connecticut, th that's where this can, it says it's, um, brewed at. However, they do have an actual location in New London, Connecticut, which is why I say that's where they're from. Anyway, yeah, that pay, play, uh, plays, pours out like a hazy. Uh, they don't call it hazy, but it certainly is. It has that, you know, kind of uh, orange, uh, yellow color, a little bit darker, about a finger of an off-white, very creamy looking head. Not really going anywhere. There is definitely a little bit of alcohol legs, despite being just 6%. Very murky and turbid. Hold it up to the light. Yeah, looks appropriate for what they're going for. Yeah. Diesel. Bud, Joe, diesel. Yeah, wow. So I'd imagine they're using Nelson based on that. Has this really like earthy, like, again, diesel gasoline kind of uh, nose to it. It's very, it doesn't have like, it, it smells like it might have a little hot burn, but it has like a big pronounced white grape kind of, yeah, kind of intensity. Underneath that though, orange, grapefruit, definitely citra. I shouldn't say definitely citra hops. Definitely citrus, maybe citra hops. But it has that orange and kind of grapefruit, sweeter candied vibe to it. Touch of pineapple and passion fruit. Would not be surprised if there's galaxy as well. Has a little bit of that like bready, crackery kind of malt character. 6%, whether it's a you know, pale ale or an IPA. Usually I pick up on it a little bit. It's here. And a touch of like a dank floral kind of character. Yeah, smells really good. Smells nothing like uh, I remember the Fugu smelling like, and going back to watch the review, I wasn't talking about, you know, diesel and this and that. So definitely a different beer. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Steven. That is, ooh, I like that finish. Hmm, there's almost like a slight tartness, like, like a tart, kind of like passion fruit. I like this. For 6.0%, 6 it has a nice vibrancy as a whole on the palate. The body, body's like medium touch over medium body. That's nice for 6%, a little bit bigger. Uh, if I was doing this blind, there's no way I'd say this is 6% based on the body alone. Factor everything else, maybe I would guess like in the 6, 6.5 range, but the body is actually superb for the... Um, ABV. The mouth feels really nice too. Mild to moderately carbonated, but has this smooth, softer kind of feel to it. Somewhat creamy on the palate as well. And the body and mouth feel are impressing me from a 6% hazy standpoint, because there's not many 6% hazies 
that have this type of body and mouthfeel. It's very impressive. Um, maybe the most impressive thing about this beer, and that's honestly not a bad thing. The taste, like I said, has a nice vibrancy to it. Right up front, get that like crackery, bready, malt uh, character dives underneath the palate. It's with you the entire way. It, it kind of peaks on the back of the palate again, like a little bit of a pop of like this grainy kind of like crackery uh, malt character. Right after that, though, there's orange, there's grapefruit, and it's candied. It's not quite juicy to my palate, but it has more of like a candied fruit, like almost like a Starburst-esque kind of uh, feeling to it. My way through the palate, I get a little bit of pineapple. The diesel thing in the nose didn't translate as much in the taste. It has more of um, just like a crisp white grape kind of character. So it's like pineapple, white grape, middle of the palate. Then on the finish, um, that tart kind of like tart little bit of sweet passion fruit hits. It's a really nice. This one finishes uh, semi to full on dry. The one knock I'd say on this one, but it did again, it's 6%. I didn't anticipate having a big bitterness. This has like a mild bitterness. I'd like to see a little bit more mild to moderate, but stylistically, again, if this is a hazy IPA, although they just call it an IPA, you kind of know it comes with the territory. You're not going to have a lot of bittering hazies unless you're a West Coast brewery or a brewery who's known for that. Um, people love hazies, a lot of them, because they don't have a ton of bitterness, right? It has all the fruit character. They can be, you know, pretty dry, but they don't usually have a lot of bitterness. I'd like to see a little bit more bitterness here, but that's like my only real gripe with it. So, I mean, this is so easy to drink. It's ridiculous. Again, I smelled like it was going to have a little hot burn in the nose. Not at all. 6%, you can't tell. You know, no warming in the chest, nothing on the palate. Toxious makes good beer, plain and simple. I need to review more from them. Again, we get some stuff here and there, so I need to pick some stuff up from time to time. But the Fugu, this, their Efta Citra uh, was another one he sent me. Uh, he also sent me, I think it was like a pastry style that was good. Like, all the beers I've had from them have been good. And this is another one. Is this as good as the base Fugu? It is not. And the reason I say that is because, again, that had a uniqueness to it. That, like, freshly squeezed watermelon in a hazy just just something I've never really experienced to that level. And it was so drinkable. It was, like, the perfect like, spring-summer beer. But it, it was almost three months old, and it's just, like, they're kind of... I don't, I don't know if it's, like, they're rotating. I don't think it's, like, their flagship beer, but it's definitely, like, a, a rotating beer. I don't know. This is a good variant of it. Um... I think if without the body and mouthfeel, this would probably give like a high four, maybe like a four zero five four one. I'm gonna bump it in the low four two five range. Why? Because the body and mouthfeel are absolutely fucking spectacular for six percent beer of any kind, let alone a hazy. So I'm gonna give Summer Fugu from Tox. I'm gonna give this a. Uh, we'll go low four two five. We'll go four point one five. I gotta bump it up into that low four two five area. Uh, really nice. And if you can get Tox stuff, or you're in Connecticut, or you get distro of their beer, and you see this, it did say it was gonna make some some distro on the Instagram page. So if you do see this, uh, grab this one. I, I would love to hear, especially if you had the regular Fugu, what you think about this because. Um, yeah, I love the color scheme, too, of this um, this can, but I really am curious about folks if they're going to enjoy this one or not. So, yeah, let me know. Uh, price point availability, uh, I didn't buy it, obviously, because Steven was kind enough to send it to me. I remember him saying the the base Fugu was like 11 or 12 bucks a four-pack, and this was like two or three years ago, which is an insane value, right? Like, uh, we even talked about it, uh, him and I, about, like, you don't see that. You do not see that. 11 to $12, a 6.5% hazy IPA, like, that does not really happen all that often. So if that's still the case with this, exceptional value. However, I'd imagine this is probably more in like the $13, $14 realm at this point. I would say even up to 16 bucks, I wouldn't pay over 16 bucks for this. But if this was in like the 11 to $14 realm, yeah, all day. This is great value for what it is. It's a really tasty, hazy 6%, but it drinks a little bit bigger. And I appreciate that. And again, availability, where we talked about it, they do say it's going to get a little bit of distribution. So if you do see talk stuff and other stuff from um, the 12% Beer Project location, then you might see this one. I hope you do uh, because it's a fun beer. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Huge thanks to Steven for this beer. Like I said, this man needs to drink a little bit more at talk. So thanks again to the next one. Cheers.